hello hello cancers welcome back welcome back everybody welcome back to queen cancer tarot channel everyone i am the host my name is Catherine. i'm here to bring you clarity guidance and love messages i have timeless readings for all of our lovely cancers sun moon rising and venus signs this is a general love reading please take this energy how it resonates with your energy and with the person that is closest to you. Now, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like the video, you guys, so that this message can go out to others and the notifications will go out. Make sure that you also share the video, you guys. And comment, let me know what you wanna win. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, crystals, jewelry, and free readings. Every single month, I am so, so super late getting the winners announced, but I am gonna be posting the winners on tonight. So please check that information out. Also, for the month of July, happy birthday, Cancers. I am doing a giveaway to all of my lovely subscribers that are chosen. So every week in the month of July, I am going to be announcing three winners and you will all be winning. Well, the three winners are going to win three question readings. Okay. Not three question, not three readings, but three question readings. So you can ask me three questions and I will give you three answers using the tarot and or the oracle. Okay, so that is all going down every month in July for a special thank you. Shout out to all of you lovely subscribers. And I also want to thank all of my new subscribers. Um, and I want to give a special shout out and thank you to Cancer Baby Tarot, Tarot of Light, um, who has been so, so sweet and wonderful and very, very generous by promoting my channel so all of you all please make sure you go and subscribe to her channel and all of you who are new subscribers from her channel a big lovely wonderful thank you to all of you guys and i just want to tell you from the bottom of my heart that i appreciate it so so much all right so let's get started you guys we are gonna do you versus them okay you versus them so, Cancers, Collective, Cross Watchers, all right, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, anyone who's watching the channel, all of you all, your energy goes into these messages, okay? So, please, please don't get upset if your energy is not displayed in the reading, okay? there is another reading that is for you. If you go look in anywhere in my playlist and click on what resonates with you, I more than guarantee something else will resonate. My readings are timeless. That means past energy, current energy, future predictive energy, long time ago, long time from now, all of that comes through in my readings okay if i specifically say this is future predictive like the last um cancer versus all 12 those are all future predictive okay so i'll let you know at the beginning of the reading that this is future predictive this is what's coming towards you cancer or if it's something that is in the past i'll say cancers we're going to take a look at the past okay so there's that so but again keep that in mind and flip it, twist it, reverse it, make the energy fit your situation however it can. But don't force it. Don't force it. Check out the playlist, you guys. And then comment. Let me know how it resonates with you. Also, you guys, the more you comment, leave your hashtags. Let me know what you want to win. The more you guys are commenting and leaving me those comments, it heightens your chances to win. As I'm going through... For the weekly winners, I am scrolling through the comments, you guys. Please, please keep that in mind. I'm scrolling through the comments for the weekly winners. Now, for the monthly, the monthlies, just hashtag what you want to win. Make sure you're subscribed and you will be entered in your chance. But if you want to heighten your chances to win the free reading, you guys, hashtag that free reading in the comments, whatever you want to win in the comments, and I will be 
selecting you guys for the random drawing okay okay let's get started cancers i'm excited this is you versus them i'm gonna go ahead and start with a little bit of oracle we're gonna go ahead and channel energy for both you and your person okay so i'm gonna pull oracle for you cancer and then i'm gonna pull oracle for your person okay all right holy spirit angels and guides tell me about cancer please Tell me about Cancer, Holy Spirit, Angels, and Guides. What does Cancer need to know, please? Holy Spirit, Angels, and Guides. What does Cancer need to know, please? Holy Spirit, okay. That just went in the reverse. We have learning in the reverse. Number four in the reverse. And... You know, this is giving me vibes of someone who, it's almost like that high priestess in the reverse energy, okay? First of all, the number four, well, actually, the fool, the magician, and the high priestess, but the number four is the empress. But right before that, you have the high priestess. And I feel like when it's in the reverse, there's an energy of someone who is not willing to learn. They're not willing to see what's there right in front of their face. They're mm, blocking the truth from themselves, right? Um, so there's an energy of not allowing the divine to come through. So there's someone who's blocking some information, not wanting to hear something, or who's just completely shut down and just not willing to grow, okay? There's an energy of someone who's you know, trying to shoo someone away, like they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear something. Tell me about Cancer's person. Think about that for you. Think about the hanged man. And when it's in the reverse, this is somebody who is just completely not interested in having any conversation. This person is avoiding conversation. They're stalling. Tell me about Cancer's person. So we have number nine, anger. And this is making your person very upset here, Cancers. This is making your person upset. Number nine, wish fulfillment. Your person knows what they want. Okay, and there's an energy of there's something that you are choosing not to listen to or you're not willing to... You're not willing to give into, okay? You're not willing to listen to or allow that energy in or allow that information to come through. This could be you. This could be your person, Cancers. This energy could be flipped. Take it how it resonates, okay? Let's go ahead and pull some more Oracle here. But this person is getting very upset here, Cancer. What's interesting is the way the sword is in between this person's finger. It's almost like someone is playing with the truth. There's an energy of someone is like playing with the truth. I'm just seeing this one sword here, which ace, aces of swords represent communication or tr the truth here. Tell me about cancer. Okay. So cancer for you, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. See, there is something about you not giving this person a chance. You're not giving them an opportunity to get their truth out or to speak cancer. And this is making your person really, really angry or upset here. Tell me about cancer's person, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. For clarity. Oh, that went in the reverse. We have you deserve love in the reverse. You are lovable. You know, there's an energy of, you know, you're blocking this person out, Cancer. It's making them angry or it's making them feel as though you don't appreciate them or like you, you don't value this person. 
you're not valuing their worth. There's an energy of this person feels like you don't really care about them, Cancer. And they're very angry about this. And this person, there's an energy of this person not wanting to talk right now. They're, they're considering the idea of speaking to you right now. They're, they're, I feel like this person is stopped talking, Cancer. They've stopped talking here. So you may be unwilling to give in to something in your person um, or you may be unwilling to hear what your person has to say or hear your person out. And this is making your person upset here and feeling like, you know, like you don't value them. Cancer. What is going on here? Tell me about Cancer, please. Did I clear the deck here? Let me make sure I did here, Cancers. Tell me about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Okay. And we have trust here. You need to have trust in a relationship in order for it to flourish. So the bottom line has got to be trust here. I feel like there's an energy of you not giving this person an opportunity because something that they did, something that they did to... to to kind of take your trust cancer and it is kind of blocking you from allowing this person or from listening to what this person has to say so with learning in the reverse there's an energy of you're not willing to take anything this person has to say seriously but something is calling for you to give this person a chance here okay tell me about your person here uh oh that card wanted to come out i'll take it spiritual your spiritual journey is beginning so cancer this person is going through a period of ascension i feel this person may be um going through a period of growth or maybe this person has grown or they're starting to grow and they just want you to listen to them they want you to hear them out but everybody's spiritual journey is not yours cancer Everybody's spiritual journey is not yours. Just because somebody has, you know, done a kumbaya and they've realized their wrongs and they've done a mecca and they want to travel to grace does not mean that you're there yet necessarily. Do you see what I'm saying? So I feel like there's an energy of your person is getting unhappy with you because they're they feel that they're moving on or past something but there's more to it for you you're you're in an energy of you need to be able to trust this person in order to listen or hear what they have to say okay let's look under the deck for all of these here so remember we have learning in the reverse and anger and we have Burden of Tears here, number 21 under the deck. And you know what? I'm feeling this energy of someone has cried a lot. Someone has gone through a lot in the connection. There has been someone who's gone through a lot of pain. And this person has their eye open now. This person is on watch and there's an energy of this person does not trust. There's a burden that this person has to carry, okay? They have to carry the burden of your tears, Cancer, because of the pain that this person caused you in the past. So there is a burden. And this person is getting upset about this. They are getting impatient about the fact that they have to build their trust back with you, Cancer. Um, but let's look under the deck here with give your relationship a chance and you deserve love in the reverse. Under the deck, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. This person with you deserve love in the reverse. Like I said, I feel like there's an energy of this person is getting angry. They're feeling as though they want to take control back cancer and they want and there's also an energy of 
gaining control because they know that by pulling their energy away, this is going to cause you to give in to maybe what they want, Cancer. So this could be a form of control on this person's part. Do you see what I mean? With free yourself here. It's interesting with free yourself and this person is inside of this fence, inside of a fence, but they're going to jump out. They don't have to stay in this fence. Like they, they have full ability to jump over this very low fence here. Do you see what I mean? So, but you're in here because you want to be. So I feel like there's an energy of this person has no true intentions of really leaving. But there's an energy of controlling cancer or getting you to operate in the way they want. So there's an energy of pulling back, perhaps. Let's look underneath the deck here. Connection. Your connection is eternal and unbreakable here. So I do feel like this person feels very, like you feel very connected to this person or this person feels very connected to you, but there's an energy of you don't trust this person and this person is wanting you to see them in a way that you just don't right now but I feel like you feel tied to this person you feel bonded or tied to this person somehow there's an energy of you know two strong soul counterparts here with spiritual connection I really do feel that but I feel like there's an energy of someone is needing to let go um, or someone has to to bear the burden of this person's pain Okay, so there could be some forgiving that needs to happen here. I'm looking at it on the bright side, Cancers. Let's just see what the cards have to say. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, tell me about Cancer, please. What clarity, what guidance, what love messages do you have for Cancers, please? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. What clarity, what guidance, what love messages do you have for cancers, please? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Okay, what clarity, okay. Okay. So we have the strength card with the Six of Cups, Strong Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and we have the Hanged Man with the Two of Swords, Pisarian, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And then we have the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Underneath the deck, we have the King of Wands with the Judgment card, Strong Fire energy, Aries, Sag Leo, and the Knight of Swords. And the Fool, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I'm sorry, not Aries, Air, Energy, Strong, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy here, Strong, Fire, Strong, Earth, Energy here. We also have water. Okay, Cancer. So let's see what we have going on here with the strength of cups. With the strength of cups. Interesting. The strength of cups. Okay, so we have the strength card and the six of cups here in the past position. 
And Cancer, there's an energy of someone who is... Uh, I feel like there's an energy of this person is... There's something about their childhood or something that happened in their childhood. Something that this person is having like repressed um, memories, okay? Because that strength card does talk about holding back something, okay? And the Six of Cups can talk about memories, holding back memories or repressing some sort of memory, okay, about the past, now, with the hanged man and the two of swords in the current energy, this is the energy of someone who is waiting on someone to make a decision or they're waiting on finding out something or they're waiting. It's like they're waiting on an answer. They're waiting on someone to make up their mind about something. And there's an energy of this person doesn't have any clue. It's like they're waiting and contemplating. They're waiting and contemplating. Now with that four of pentacles in the future position, this is an energy of someone who is holding back. Um, holding back their energy, holding back their time. This could also be literally somebody who is, um, you know, holding back from having any sort of communication with someone, holding back from dealing with someone. With that Knight of Pentacles, this is someone who's moving very at a very slow pace, okay? A very slow pace. Underneath the deck, we have the King of Wands and the Judgment card. That King of Wands is an energy of someone who has a plan, okay? And with the Judgment card, this is final, okay? This is final. Whatever plan, whatever takes place, whatever this person decides, there's an energy of there's no going back from this, okay? This person knows that whatever decision they make, this is like, they feel like rushed into making a decision here as well. But this decision is going to be final. Like whatever decision they make can have long lasting impact on this person here. So... With that fool card, I feel like there's an energy of this person that's like, they're not really wanting to do it. This person would rather just kind of leave and go off into, towards something new, rather than to have to make this decision. Because this person feels rushed. They don't want to make a decision that they're going to be taking back. They feel like it's going to be a foolish decision okay so this person is holding back they're not making a decision there's an energy of someone who's refusing to make a decision now this could be an energy of someone from the past who is coming back in wanting to reconcile a connection but I honestly I really feel like there's an energy of this person from the past is like they're being very stubborn. This person is being very stubborn. And I feel like, again, they're doing this because they don't know what's going to happen. This could be your energy. I feel like this is the energy on your side here, Cancer. I feel like there's an energy on your side. And rather than give in to this person, there's an energy of 
you know, you just don't have the trust, okay? You just don't have the trust. Let's see. Let's go ahead and clarify, Cancer, before I move on here. Tell me about the strength card, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about the strength card, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about, okay. And we got the Two of Cups here. This is definitely an energy of someone that you were in a in a connection with. There was a, a very strong soul tie connection that you had, a bond that you shared with this person. You have a, a lot of compassion, a lot of feelings for this person. With the death card underneath the deck, things changed. Things changed. There was some sort of an ending here. Okay, there was some sort of an ending here. Okay, um, and look, Cancer, Six of Swords in the reverse. I don't have any reversals in this deck, but I have the, well, I have a couple, but I have the Six of Swords in this deck in the reverse. I don't have many, should I say. <laughs> and this is an energy of someone who is, you know, they're stuck in the past or there's some sort of unresolved issues from the past some sort of abandonment i feel like there's an energy of this person left cancer with the strength card this person stayed and somebody walked away this person stayed and tried to do the right thing in the connection but someone left cancer with that six of cups here Yeah, this is definitely an X here. Definitely an X coming back in. Tell me about the Six of Cups, please, for Cancer. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. Tell me about the Six of Cups. And look, the Strength card again. Cancer. This definitely could be Leo energy. You could be dealing with the Leo for sure here. Okay, um, very strong Leo energy. Um, but this person never let go. There's someone who has, like I said, unresolved issues from the past. They have not let go of this person. And whoever it was, I feel like this person left. Cancer with the two of wands here. This is an energy of someone who is like unable to really move forward. This person is not leaving their comfort zone here they're holding back it's like they're trying to hold on they're waiting for their person okay and this could be your person's energy here or it could be that your person was going back and forth cancer with that two of wands this can represent someone who's going back and forth between two people and with that strength card this can represent you you know trying to do the right thing in the connection but your person changed here and it's like they left you hanging with that two of swords is an energy of you got cut out here tell me about the hanged man please holy spirit and we have the queen of swords cancer look at that queen of swords cancer this is definitely trust issues you have trust issues because of this person just left you hanging okay that number four that number four in the reverse reminds me of the hanged man i always say that cancer but that's it's it's shaped like a number four do you understand so yeah somebody just left you hanging under the deck seven of swords in the reverse and there's an energy of this person is now coming back in they are wanting to apologize for lying this person or there's an energy of whatever this person did they were exposed or you found out about it um but there's also an energy of this person just wants to explain okay they just want to explain themselves here tell me about the two of swords look 
we got the nine of swords and the six of wands see cancer you found out you found out about this betrayal the six of wands talks about recognition someone who is obviously on display for everyone to see with that nine of swords this is a huge betrayal cancer huge huge betrayal under the deck the four of pentacles and this is why cancer you are holding back this is why you're in that four of pentacles energy here that just confirms it for us tell me about the four of pentacles well we got a whole bunch of cards we won't take them all oh, i saw the devil pop out there and we got the four of cups cancer you definitely have pulled back your energy from this person you have separated from this person you could have moved away um, but i definitely feel an energy of you are not interested in hearing what this person has to say you're not interested in what this person is offering do you understand you're not giving them a chance with that moon underneath the deck cancer you don't trust them this is an energy of not trusting your person not wanting to give them an opportunity cancer because it's like you just don't want to hear what they have to say here you're not willing to listen to this person. Um, tell me about this Knight of Pentacles here. There's an energy, though, of this person is going to continue. It's like they're going to continue. There's an energy of this person with that Five of Cups. Look at this. Five of Cups. This person is let down, but I feel like there's an energy of with this Two of Cups here. And look, the Ace of Pentacles, this person is going to continue trying. This represents new opportunities, okay? And I feel like this person wants another chance. They are very sorry. There's an energy of being very sorry. Look at that. We have the High Priestess. See? There she is. Now it's in the upright here. Now the high priestess is in the upright. And when I said that learning in the reverse here, so maybe you might give this person a, a chance. This could represent you giving this person an opportunity. This does talk about spiritual and the divine. I feel like this person just wants you to listen. Um, but there's an energy of this person getting angry. This person is going to get upset in some kind of way, Cancer, because they're going to feel blocked. All right, so let's clarify under the deck first, and then I will um, go to part two, and we'll look at the energy on your person's side. But first, tell us about this King of Wands and the Judgment card. This is that energy of someone who's very angry or upset with that King of Wands. This is somebody that has a plan, okay? And I feel like this person is coming in, Cancer, with having have the, had this awakening, because the Judgment card represents the awakening. This is the spiritual um, awakening that this person has had. This, Their journey has begun, Cancer. They have grown up. Why won't you just give them a chance? Tell me about King of Wands and Judgment. And look at this. Look at that. We have the Empress there. Clear as day. The Empress coming through strong. This person sees you as very abundant very attracted to you um, but I feel like again there's an energy of this person is going to have a lot of um, they're going to be very upset um, cancer ten of wands see under the deck this is this person getting impatient this person is feeling the burden this talks about a burden remember we talked about burden of tears cancer this person has a burden of tears see this number 21 number three ultimately ten of wands 21 ten of wands you guys this is just too coincidental right no coincidences however in the tarot tell me about the knight of swords and the fool i feel like this person is rushing in wanting you to just take this leap of faith and this person is not really wanting to rush. They feel like if they do, they're going to make a, they're going to do something that they're going to regret. And we have the lovers here. See, Cancer, there's an energy of you just want this person to listen to you because, or this, you know, your person just wants you to listen to them 
because this person knows what they want, but you don't know what they want. Seven of Pentacles, and this is my one of my favorite of the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles normally is an energy with the card in the illustration. This person is really looking at whatever they planted and they are in expectation of what is coming. This person looks like they're kind of scared of what's going to come. Like, ooh, I've just planted it. Let's see what comes out. This is your energy all day. This is an energy of, you know, Adam, Eve, the snake, but you're not really sure if that snake is going to rear its head or what's going to happen when it does. Do you understand? King of Pentacles here under the deck. So it's like, can you trust this person? Do you feel safe and secure? There's that energy of wanting to feel the security that that seven of pentacles typically brings, okay? But just not being sure. Let's go ahead and take this into a part two and we'll look at the energy on your person's side, Cancer, to see what is going on and exactly how things are going to pan out. All of this in the extended. I love you guys so much. The winners are coming later. You guys check out. Keep your notifications turned on so you can be notified when I announce them. I will see you guys in the part two. Bye, you guys. Love you. Mwah.